Welcome to my studio where we are going to explore a very special didgeridoo today called Sumo. It is called so because it is the widest shape we've ever made. I play a lot of toots and most of my instruments are relatively tight. But for this one, I was looking for a shape which will allow me to play the cushion percussion like I play in the song Moons. And I play that song on a 2 meter 69 centimeter long beautiful didgeridoo that is beautiful in many aspects but it's not beautiful to carry around. This one is 1 meter smaller but it wasn't very easy to get to it. When I looked for an alternative to my very long A to play Moons on, I was looking through all of my digits that I have, and I have many digits, and I couldn't find that quality, I just couldn't find that soft drum sound, except in one instrument. And that was an old didgeridoo that I used to play, um, but I haven't played it for a while, and I forgot a little bit how it works, and I was surprised that it works really great for that, but not perfect, and it wasn't tuned very well. So I took that as a base of my thinking, and I put a blank piece of wood on a drilling machine and I started a quite long process where I was iterating, drilling and playing and drilling and playing and drilling and playing and drilling and playing and drilling and playing for quite a long time until I was happy. But what was very surprising about that, I was looking for an instrument which would have this great cushion percussion, the soft drum sound. But I got that and I got much more. I got a very versatile instrument which is incredibly comfortable to play. Like this is the first thing I notice when I start playing sumo is this very comfortable back pressure. It's just you just sit in an armchair in a beautiful in a beautiful place. You don't fight against it, but it's quite strong, especially regarding the width of the bore. And that is accompanied with this bassy aura that comes around the drone. And altogether, this uh, gives a very very comfortable feeling while playing. But what my instrument didn't have and what this one has is a toot in the octave. This is not an instrument which is intended to be played uh, in a very tooty style, but it does have incredibly good and wide and fat and juicy uh, first toot, pretty much like the drone. When I say fat, bear in mind that it's kind of muscular fat. It, this, this sumo is not this obese sumo. It, it, it has some fat and, and it is juicy, but also it's quite tight and muscular. So the first uh, toot is in octave, the second toot then goes a minor seventh above that, which is quite special and quite rare, and then the third toot goes uh, the fourth above that. So this one, um, this sumo is in D, it can be made in other keys as well. Uh, so the first toot is D, then the second toot is C, and the third toot is F. And I would say these are three quite playable toots that you can expect to be able to get. But with a little bit of practice, you can get maybe five toots. That would be A sharp and C above this, which puts it to a minor D key or some other scale if you like. But the first toot is what it's all about in the toot world and uh, it works really well with the technique of opening and closing the jaw, so the, um, the pull, um, breathing on that toot and it allows you for very um, strong, powerful, direct, punchy sound. <laughs> Of 
course, Sumo's main asset for me would be the cushion percussion, the soft drum sounds, because this is why it is it was created for, and this is how it goes. <laughs> Sumo also has um, a dip uh, after the first harmonic, so that would be around 150 hertz, and then it's low until 500 hertz. And that allows a very nice usage of voice, and at the same time, you can play with the harmonics above that. And I would say that some players, like for example French style players, could uh, find that quite appealing. Sumo also has a really beautiful ear code. The classical drum sound works on this one extremely well. So this would refer to some of Andre's old songs maybe, or my old songs as well, and some other old songs and some new songs. So these are the sounds which are in the very have very closely related start and stop button, the push and pull button. So everything that is condensed, congested in this breath manner will have very good sound here because it has this um, like corridor echo inside and also the harmonic relation is just right. tight enough to have very clear articulations. It is not as clear as some tight uh, bore models which are made to be very precise when they are played very fast, but this is very good for this open bore instrument. <laughs> I mean, I have to add one more thing, and that is that Nevison sounds, which are very different in quality from the classical drum sound or the eardrum, they work really well, and it has um, this quality between a frame drum and Udu. So it's like wet sound of frame drum, and I just love the way it happens on this one. And I still have to explore fully that universe um, 
to be aware of what is hiding in all that. So I hope you enjoy this presentation and I will leave you to some more of images and sounds from Sumo. Thank you. Uh, visit our website for more detail. Spiral out, keep digging and check out Sumo. <laughs>